Now this module is extremely self-explanatory. However, it is one of the most important and most overlooked parts of storytelling that people do not even think about or contemplate adding into the message of their story itself. What I want to illustrate to you is how simple it is and, and show you a very powerful, although commonly used structure, which most storytellers leave out, especially when it comes to presentations, meetings, leaders trying to motivate their staff, or even salespeople trying to motivate their clients. We have to understand that we are all different, but in many ways, or in essential ways, we're all the same. It doesn't matter if you're young, old, it doesn't matter what race you are, what culture you're from. We all have one thing in common. We all have emotions. Now the thing about stories is they focus on emotions. A story isn't just factual based. If you want to give somebody facts, you could give them a PPT with loads of data slides or give them an Excel spreadsheet and an email. That's not what storytelling is about. Storytelling is about targeting people's emotions. Now, even though we're all different, we all have these emotions. We all have desire. We all have a need for something. And we all want to find ways to improve ourselves and make our lives easier. Emotions make us both vulnerable and relatable. And what I mean by this is that we are vulnerable in the sense that we know that we want to improve in whichever ways we want to improve and we're looking continually to find ways to improve our lives and this is what storytellers must understand because as soon as they do then when they tell their stories they will relate and this is where the relatable part comes in they relate to their audience more rather than and this is what most storytellers do do especially in presentations and meetings and leadership they give people information but they don't relate to their audience when we relate to our audience and their desires and we find common ground we build empathy and when we build empathy the people who are listening to the story and the message that we are delivering to them are more relatable to us. They understand it from our point of view. And if we look back a few modules about the scientific research that shows, and this is actual scientific fact, that when we give a story, our brain waves do actually connect with the listener or the reader into a state where they actually empathize with us relate to us and therefore are more influenced and this is massively powerful in business and even though with the best intentions the person at the front of the room may be delivering the content may have an awesome message but they haven't actually targeted their audience desires a simple example is this for example to build empathy with your audience you tell them a story now, the story to have maximum impact has to show how you overcame a problem or an issue or how it could be overcome. If you want something, if you want to make a change, for example, in business, you need to show people how it's going to pan out. And most change happens like this you have where you currently are. So this is at the very first stage, little man standing there with a cape. That is where we start. Then we have the challenge, the conflict, the issue. This is the part that people don't like. They don't like change. Many people don't like change. Some people embrace it. But a lot of the time, if there's a conflict, some people shy away from it. Well, it's going out of your comfort zone. So people don't tend to like that. To build a story of empathy with your audience, you want to be a little bit susceptible and also show that you've overcome the challenge and you've been there before, you know what's going to happen, therefore you're displaying power, confidence and also influence. Now for example, okay, the little man in the cape, that's where he is, that's where he is now. He hit a challenge, it was a conflict or an issue, could be anything. He tried and tried and tried and it was going okay, he got to a certain point, but then he just crashed and burned. And this happens in many people's lives, even their personal lives as well as their working lives. We all try things, sometimes they work, 
sometimes they don't. At one point, at a certain point, especially on a change curve, we come crashing down. The beauty of the story is when we find the resolution, we find the way that is going to impact us and make us stronger and greater. That is when we achieve success. Telling people a story that involves all of these steps, being somewhere, having a challenge, trying, failing, and then, just like in the superhero story, you find the right way, the best way. This is the motivation. This is the motivation and power part of the story. And then you achieve success. This is what Tony Robbins does. This is what all of the greatest motivational speakers and leaders do in the world. They give a story similar to this. We'll be looking at seven structures, as I keep saying, but we will. And... This is part of it. The main motivational parts of the story are when people crash and how to overcome that crash. This is what motivates people the most to listen to your story because in some aspect of their life, they're going to be hitting this point where they're thinking, well, it could be a relationship. It could be their job. Maybe they're changing jobs or maybe they're in a job that they just don't know how to function properly. They don't know how to go higher. One of these steps will be where they are right now. So if you tap in to this, you will build empathy with your audience and they're going to think, wow, this is about me. And that's what you want. When you're telling a story, you want the person to put themselves in that story, in the story. You want them to be in what you're telling, what you're describing, so that then their own mind will start to create their own story, given your story. But always remember, you're the storyteller, so you're going to be giving the final result and outcome. Anyway, I think we've been going through enough of the theory now. The next module is the seven storytelling structures. So, I'll see you there.